added added level of excitement this week, you know, getting to play at home for the first time? Yeah, it's nice to get uh, get our home opener in. You know, mm-hmm. I think that we're all excited to play at home. Um, playing on the road was uh, it was nice to get out there, but playing nothing beats playing in front of your fans. And right. I know uh, the team's excited, and I know the fans are excited just as well. Have you looked at uh, the film much from that first game? Yeah, we watched it all earlier today. Mm-hmm. So we saw what we did good, we saw what we did bad. Um, take the good with the bad and just get ready to play uh, um, on Saturday. Did anything stand out to you that maybe you hadn't realized, you know, right after the game, seeing it on film? Um, just how good the O-line did, you know, we watched it uh, play by play, we broke it down play by play today, and um, we saw that they um, really kind of dominated. They had their way with uh, New Mexico State's D-line, and I think if they have their way with uh, the, every team we play, I think we'll have no problem right mm-hmm. uh, You know, is, is this kind of fun for you, getting a chance to be on this stage against a, a Power 5 team? Yeah, it's absolutely. It's fun just being out there playing ball. You know, I told Pat um, during the game, I said this beats the hell out of Redshirt, and I'll tell yeah. you that. And uh, all the guys were just making jokes, like, playing ball is so much fun. You know, mm-hmm. last year we didn't get to play much Redshirt, and mm-hmm. we didn't have that four-game rule. So we were just uh, we were just watching and learning. But, yeah, it's just fun to be out there, and especially with the exposure that we get playing on ESPN2 for the first game. And, um, playing, we play Pac-12 and then SEC next week. So mm-hmm. we get we get a lot of exposure, so that's big time for us. I guess what are you kind of expecting out of, out of this Washington State defense? Um, from what we saw today, a lot of stemming on, up on their front with the new defensive coordinator, um, a lot of open, a lot of four down. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, they play a lot of man from what I saw. Their corners are, they're not too aggressive, but they'll come up and press you. And, um, you know, one of their safeties is pretty good. So mm-hmm. uh, I think we got our we got our hands full. I know, obviously, you guys have a good defense, but they, you know, always throw the ball over the place. Are you expecting that, you know, they might ask a little bit more out of you this game, you know, if it becomes a higher scoring match? Yeah, I definitely think they do. You know, um, last week our game plan was pretty simplified. They couldn't mm-hmm. stop the run. So, um, you know, if it's not broke, don't fix it, you know. Um, so uh, I think this week they'll definitely give us some more problems. So I think we'll definitely have to throw the ball a little, little bit mm-hmm. more. Um, so we'll see how the game plan goes. Seemed like you had a pretty good, you know, rapport building up with Tyree, you know, on the, on the checkdowns last week. Is that something that's kind of been there all camp for you? Yeah, I think me and Tyree have good chemistry, especially on the bootlegs. You know, mm-hmm. um, taking the slow because it's always there. It's going to be there right away. Mm-hmm. Um, so just taking what they give us on the slow, and uh, ultimately it was Tyree uh, most plays. And then, uh, I was working all game. So. I know some big plays for, for Austin Fort last game. It sounds like he's not going to be out there on Saturday. Just uh, you know, how, how how much are you know the other tight ends going to have to step up? And I guess does Nate figure into that more? You know, with with Austin not out there. Yeah, I, you know, going from three seniors to two, it's it's you know. It sucks having an injury, but that's just part of football. So mm-hmm. we've got to have next guy up. And I definitely think Nate's ready to go. He knows mm-hmm. the play. So I think he'll be all right. Um, you'll definitely see him get some more reps, mm-hmm. I think. Um, but, yeah, just ultimately with um, Harsh and Tyree, just ultimately mm-hmm. getting those guys on the same page route-wise and, um, because Austin Ford's down. But I think, uh, like I said, next guy up, and they'll be ready to go. Mm-hmm. Uh, getting Alonzo back at right tackle, just how big is that for you guys this week? I think that's big. You know, he's big – one of the biggest guys on the O-line. He has uh, experience, and I think he's the guy with NFL talent right now. So um, it's nice to have him back in there, and I think he's uh, excited to get back. Yeah, I'm sure you know, you're happy to be here, but looking at a Mike Leach offense, would that be something you know that's kind of fun for a quarterback to get to play? Yeah, you know, I think if you look at uh, – you, you can ask any quarterback. They want to they wanna pad their stats and yeah. throw it every time they can. So I think you know, playing in that system is a dream, but I'm here for a reason. I'm here to win games. You know? mm-hmm. Um, you know, I'm in the best place possible. Mm-hmm. How, how uh, like short did those stints on the sideline feel like last game? Because it seemed like every time you guys punted, you were out there like 30 seconds later. Did it feel almost short between series? Yeah, it was insane. You know, the defense held them to negative yards in the first half. Mm-hmm. And, um, I, I mean, we gave up less than, I want to say, 100 all game. So that's, in, that's incredible. Um, but, yeah, me and Pat were talking on the sidelines. Like, we need more breaks. Like, the defense got to stay out there longer. We're tired. So, I mean, um, all credit to the defense in the world. You know, they play fantastic. And, you know, it would be nice to have a little nicer break, a little longer breaks. Gotcha.